After several tense moments from the bird strike, passengers on American Airlines Flight 271 breathed a sigh of relief as their aircraft landed safely back at LaGuardia Airport. After what most deemed an MVP caliber season, it all came to an unfortunate end this past Sunday as Tennessee Titans running back Derrick Henry suffered a Jones fracture in his right foot. Henry is expected to have surgery and his recovery timetable is proposed to be between eight to 10 weeks. It's early, the polls are open, and it's time to vote as the 2021 New York City mayoral election is underway. Despite giving up six earned runs in his game two start against the Houston Astros, Southpaw Max Freed will be taking the hill for the Atlanta Braves as he will be going up against rookie writing Luis Garcia, whom is trying to push his team to a potential game seven while the Atlanta Braves are trying to win their first World Series since 1995. It will be going down tonight as both teams will look to battle. First pitch is at 8.09 on Fox. I know. So I know we have a couple minutes in this in this Mets talk. Let's just briefly talk about free agency and players. We talk a lot about coaches and and, and front office people. We they, the Mets need to fill some holes in their lineup. Who do you see? Who do you like? Well, Ed, I'm going to start off with Nick Castellanos. That's my guy right there, who had 34 home runs, 100 RBIs with a .309 batting average. I think that the New York Mets need to go with someone who could play outfield. Whom well. well their main position is the outfield, not Dom Smith or not Jeff McNeil just throwing them out in the outfield like, hey, go play. But yes, an outfielder who could hit for power, but also who, who could hit with a high average. He's my start off. Avisel Garcia is another one with 29. Really? Home, yes, Avisel Garcia. 29 home runs, 86 runs batted in. We already know Michael Conforto, but an honorable mention that I have is Andrew McCutcheon, mostly for his clubhouse presence. He's not yeah. my main guy. He's not my main guy. If they're gonna if they're gonna sign Andrew McCutcheon, it's it, it's to, it's at the end of all their moves as a, as a nice veteran guy to have off the bench or something. I really, really like Castellanos. I've talked about the Mets bringing him on in this show before, and that's got to be one of their main priorities because I I I, I got to move on from Michael Conforto as much as I love the guy. He's meant so much to this team. Michael Conforto has just not been the answer. He's not been consistent enough. And then, obviously, I want Javi Baez back. I mean, I think most Mets fans do. Just, I think we've kind of moved past the whole thumbs-down stuff. He put up great numbers with the Mets, and they got to move, They got to bring him back as well. If, if Steve Cohen is willing to pay for a Javi Baez, a potentially another outfielder, and also we, knew, we do need some more starting pitching, I'm all in for Javier Baez. But at the same time, don't forget, we could bring back VR on a small contract. Yep. We still have Jeff McNeil, who is under team control. And I also like the prospects that we have with Mark Vientos, who is a third baseman but could also play the outfield. I agree. I mean, they got a bright future there with him and a lot of other, the other guys in the minor leagues. Well, JB, thank you for coming on, talking to New York Mets. Thank you for all your hard work you've, you've dedicated to this show this season. Looking forward to having you back next year. Thank you, Ed. Thank you to Tim. Thank you to all the producers of Batters Box. I appreciate it. All right.